hello friends in this video we will discuss about uh, these water tanks in my case i have three water tanks one two and three each one with the capacity of 1000 liters so total 3000 liter capacity uh, in this video i want to explain you the benefits of having multiple water tanks and in a way uh, i want to influence you to have you know similar kind of setup like more water tanks in your house as well now uh, the first benefit is at any given point in time you have more water stored in your house so if any disruption happened to the water supply in your house whether it is from the municipal government or it is from the society if you are living in a gated society then in those events you can sustain for more number of days okay now the second benefit so the second benefit is not directly for you but for the society uh, let's say if you are living in a gated society then society also gets benefit if residents are adding more water tanks in their houses for example i live in a gated society okay and uh, let's say there are about 300 houses each residence is having at least one water tank with a capacity of 1000 liters that means the residents are holding 3 lakh liters of water now if each residence add one more water tank then the residents would be holding 6 lakhs if you add one more tank then 9 lakhs and this is apart from the common storage okay which is usually you know in let's say in our case it's about 5 lakh liter of water so the benefit is the society becomes more sustainable if any breakdown happens then residents won't complain immediately they will give enough time to the society to rectify those problems and even the neighbors can help each other whoever is having more capacity can help other neighbors to sustain okay see you need to understand that having more storage doesn't mean that your consumption will increase consumption will remain same it's just that you have more sustainable resources now uh, the third benefit is uh, if you have more water tanks with a smaller capacity then maintenance becomes easier for example you can see uh, in my house this line is separate there is an input and there is an output and uh, that side is separate so one day i can clean that water tank while i'll be having supply from this side okay at least some taps will be working having water other day i can clean these these two okay these two also i can separate one day i can clean this one one day i can clean that one uh, so the point is if you have more number of tanks especially the smaller size you know smaller sizes are easier to manage you know one person can easily move these tanks and you know till those tanks so if you have more number of tanks especially the smaller size tanks then maintenance becomes easier now the fourth benefit is uh, the pressure in the taps increases especially in my case if you see uh, this side is separate so this side of the house gets supply from these tanks and uh, that side of the house gets supply from this water tank now that means there are multiple tanks supplying to different parts of the house earlier only one tank used to supply the entire house when the multiple taps are on in the different parts of the house then the pressure used to drop significantly now with this setup we don't face a pressure problem that is another benefit now fifth and the last benefit is uh, you will not think about having the sump see uh, the use case of the sump is to have more storage but the special use case of the sump is when you have water shortage in your area you don't get supply at all and you are relying on the water tanks then you need the sump because you know uh, the level of the tank has to be below the level of the water tanker so then you need the sump in the ground underground but if you don't have that problem then this setup is good enough each tank costs just 6000 rupees you can have as many tanks as you want they are very neat and clean easy to maintain these are plastic tanks not cemented one so they are easy to replace also easy to maintain also easy to install also overall they are way more easier than having a sump um, one more point about these overhead tanks which i forgot to include in the initial recording uh, that is because these water tanks are placed on the terrace they are directly exposed to the sun and because they are directly exposed to the sun the temperature increases to a significant level and because of which uh, the bacteria and the fungal and the algae formation doesn't happen so this is one more added advantage of uh, these overhead tanks over the sump see sump has its own use case as we discussed if you have a water shortage in your area and you are dependent on the water tankers then there is no choice but uh, these water tanks have many other advantages over the uh, sump uh, especially these are made of plastic so the surface is also super smooth compared to the sump which is usually concrete and also these days uh, these uh, tanks are coming with uh, features like uh, uh, antifungal, viral 
anti algae anti bacteria and all those things so we don't have to actually rely on these features they are not very important the main point is these are overhead tanks they are directly exposed to the sun so there is no chance that the bacteria and the fungus can survive in this temperature now i'll quickly walk you through the setup uh, see i have separated the supply input and output supply in two parts this side and that side okay now this is the input line okay there's a wall and it's coming to this water tank and there is a support i'm taking there is a dummy there okay so water goes to this tank this is the input tank and uh, from here there is a channel again there is a wall there is a union and water goes to this tank and from this tank we take the output okay now what you need to notice output we are taking from here and input is coming here so whenever we use the water the water supply will come from here okay the water level will drop in this tank and then water will flow from that tank to this tank and because the water level reduces in that tank then the ball wall level reduces and water supply comes to this tank overall if you see there is no stuck or stagnant water there is a continuous water flow you might have heard that you know the flowing air and the flowing water is always clean and fresh if the water or the air is stuck in one area then it becomes dirty and unhealthy so there is a continuous flow similarly that side also there is a input supply okay and there is a output supply so there is a continuous flow of water we keep using the water water comes through this tank and then keeps going out so there is a continuous flow and one more important point is you can notice that everything is in the air our wall mount so the floor is completely clean that side also you can see and by the way this platform is very important you see there is a platform both side this is very important there are two use cases obviously you know one benefit is we want to raise the level of the tank because of the you know exit pipe the output pipe that is one obvious benefit uh, and the second benefit is uh, the load is distributed across the complete area if you place directly the water tank on the terrace then because of the unevenness the weight can fall on concentrated areas then it can damage the terrace but if it is a platform then weight becomes distributed okay now the last thing about the costing so if you're going for one tank 1000 liter capacity let's say the astral brand same brand uh, by the way the astral is the best brand in india in the plumbing material as per my understanding so one tank would cost you about 6000 to 7000 rupees okay that's an approx cost i live in hyderabad so that's a cost for me and uh, the plumbing material and the plumber cost all inclusive would cost about 10000 rupees per tank so if you're going for two more tanks then 20000 simple so that's it for the video if you like the content please hit the like button and do subscribe my channel for more such videos